Okay, let's start our morning yoga class. So come and sit on your yoga mat. Just, or just sit on the floor, wherever you're practicing, just make sure that the surface is not slippery. Okay, and choose your option. Maybe sit in a cross leg or pose of adapt, cross leg with base, and just cross your legs. We call that easy pose. Or maybe pose of adapt, where your feet flat on the floor and you turn the heels with midline of your body. And let's lengthen from the base of the spine upwards to the crown of the head. Lengthen from the hips to your armpits, and you can exaggerate that. Inhale, lift your arms, take your shoulders back, relax your shoulder blades, flat on your upper back. Move your head slightly back to elongate your neck. Then close your eyes and just notice your whole body, your whole posture, and deepen your breath. Take a few deep breaths. Inhaling deep, expand in all directions. And as you exhale, exaggerate. Draw your tummy muscles in. Exhale fully. And again, inhale and expand in all directions. And as you exhale, exaggerate. Draw your tummy muscles in. Exhale, exhale, exhale. And so on. Your breath is deep and flowing. Try to use whole capacity of your lungs. And remind yourself about your intention. We all have intentions. Your intention can be very small or very big. Your intention can be just for this yoga class or for a day, for a few days ahead. And if you are in doubt, ask yourself how you can meet it to yourself. How you can meet it to your health. And find the inspiration in your answer. And keep your breath deep, flowing, enjoyable. On your next inhale, open your eyes, relax your arms and your legs and come on your all fours. Move the block to the side, we'll need that block later and come on your all fours. You have hands beneath your shoulders, knees directly beneath the hips and turn it was under. As you inhale, lengthen, moving your arms forward, hips back, you want to lengthen through the sides and then soften between your shoulder blades. Inhale and look up. And as you exhale, chin to your chest and into your arms. Inhale, abdomen down, lift your heart, lift your tailbone, you look up. Again, exhale and chant. Inhale and look up. Let's do another three rounds. So you have five repetitions. It's nice to start this practice with the cut and the calm stretch. Listen all the physical sensations in your body. How you feel today? How's your back doing? How's your hips? How's your shoulders? Keep your neck soft. And when you finish all your repetitions, then bring your back parallel to the floor in your chair position. Step back with your knees, knees away from the hips and come up to down facing dog. Inhale, lift your sitting bones high. Press all finger pads and the four corners of the hands into the floor and then stretch back, push your inner thighs back. Let's spot walk, bend your right knee, then the left. Start to warm up the hamstrings, stretching the back of the legs. And again, I invite you to do it nice and gently. So beginning of the class, so this is just a warm up. Okay. Checking again how you feel. Have the shoulders. Can you squeeze your shoulders a little stronger to each other? Well done. On your next inhale, come up high on your tiptoes. Look between your hands, bend your knees and walk towards to your hands into your forward bend. Make space between your feet, hips width apart or a little wider. Just check out your lower back. If you feel very tight, bend your knees and take your feet wider and that's okay. Keep your legs steady, squeeze. 
take your hands to the hips, then lift your elbows, shoulders, lift your chin and come up with super strong legs, squeeze, squeeze your legs towards each other as you come up, and then exhale and relax your arms, relax your shoulders, relax your neck, neck is soft, great, and we go to another forward bend, and this time we interlace fingers behind, inhale and lengthen, exhale, bend your knees forward, and bring your chest over your thighs, and then nod your head, just relax your neck, bend your knees more if you need, squeeze your shoulders at the back, lift your arms, five deep breath, inhale, let's stretch away from the hips, and as you exhale, squeeze the legs and bow, maybe straighten your legs, maybe not, and again, inhale, straighten your legs and forward, exhale, squeeze the legs and bow a little deeper, lift your arms a little higher, and again, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, squeeze the legs and bow a little deeper. Twice more. Inhale and stretch. Exhale, strong legs, strong tummy muscles, bow. We do it again. Inhale, stretch and lengthen forward. Exhale, bow with your legs, lift your arms. Now lower your arms down, squeeze the legs, bend your knees a little forward and come up. Lift your shoulders, lift your chin and come up. Squeeze, 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 squeeze your legs. And then exhale and relax your arms. And again, draw your shoulders, relax, relax, relax. And then lift your arms up. Hold your right wrist, I'm going to be a mirror. Hold your right wrist, lengthen. And pull yourself to the left. Just start to stretch the sides of the body, how you feel there. Come back, change your side, inhale, lengthen, exhale, pull yourself to the right. Inhale, come back once more. Straight up and then pull yourself to the left. Well then, maybe bend your knees now and step back with your right foot, but don't worry, you don't have to do that. You can keep your feet both on the floor, flat. Come back, change inside, inhale, stretch, exhale, pull yourself to the right and maybe stop here or step back with your left foot and go a little bit more to the right. Straight, straight, straight. And then come back, inhale, come back. Exhale, relax your arms. And again, let's roll the shoulders, soften, soften, soften. Okay, we're nicely warmed up now. now and we do salutation to the sun. Come to the front of your mat. So, salute to the sun. Let's do a couple of rounds. Take it easy if you need. One knee down, or both knees in, into the floor, that's fine. Okay. Take your hands to your heart. Inhale, lift your sternum. Exhale, relax your arms. Inhale, very gentle back bend, or just stretch upwards. And as you exhale, forward bend, bend your knees if you need, touch the floor or your shins. Inhale, lengthen forward. This is your half forward bend. It's okay to hold your legs if you need. Exhale, bow. And again, inhale, lengthen. It's okay to have your knees bent. Exhale, bow. We do once more. Again, inhale, stretch and lengthen forward. Exhale, bow a little deeper. Now move your hands by the side of your heels and step back with your right. So right foot back, high leg lunge or knee down. Just choose your option. If you need to bring your knee down, that's fine. Deep breath into your chest, expand your chest. Exhale, step back into the plank or half plank. Half plank with the knees on the floor if you need to take it easy. Squeeze your arms, deep breath in. And then exhale, knees, elbows, or maybe just bend your elbows back, lie down on your tummy, point your toes back, and slow come up to raise cobra. You want to lengthen the tailbone and come up slow, listening to your lower back. Shoulders down, do the double chin, look straight. Inhale. And as you exhale, drag your hands back and stretch and lengthen forward. Toes under, down facing dog, or come on your force if you need. And then down facing dog. Have a good stretch through the whole back of the body, pressing all finger pads into the floor. Inner thighs moving back, extend. Enjoy the stretch. On your next inhale, on your tiptoes, look between your hands, right leg up, and see if you can step forward, or maybe take it, take it easy with your knees down, and then right foot forward, helping with your hands, checking your knee, back your ankle. This is very good for your knee. Deep breath in. Exhale, forward bend. Engage your legs towards the midline. Keep that energy. Use the strength of the legs. Press down with your feet and come up. Inhale, lift. Start with the sun. 
Exhale, hands to your heart with your left side. Inhale, exhale, inhale and switch. Exhale, forward bend, strong legs. Touch the floor or your shins. Inhale, extend forward. Exhale, bow. Hands by the side of your heels, left to back, high leg lunge or lower leg lunge. Choose your option, deep breath. Exhale, step back into the plank or half plank. Squeeze your arms, squeeze your shoulders, lift your tummy muscles. And we're going to try to do this movement. Try to let go of the floor with one hand and then with another hand. Okay. Don't worry, you don't have to do everything. Engage your core muscles just a little stronger. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Okay, one hand, another hand. And then we go down, knees, elbows, chaturanga. Oh, chaturanga, dandasana, just your elbows. Point your toes back and come up to raised cobra. Lengthening the tailbone, lift shoulders down. Double chin, lift your chin a little. Inhale. And as you exhale, with the shoulder blades, carry your heart forward and stretch and lengthen, lengthen. Toes under, down facing dog. Or come on your force and then do down facing dog. Enjoy the stretch, good stretch to the whole back of the body. On your next inhale, on your tiptoes, look between your hands. Left leg up, step forward. Help with your hand if you need. You want to see your knee above your ankle again. Deep breath into your chest. Exhale, forward bend. Squeeze your legs. Press down as if you can come up. Inhale, lift. Side to the sun. Exhale, hands to your heart. Second chant. Deep breath in. Exhale. Inhale and stretch. Exhale, forward bend. Strong legs. Touch the floor. Inhale, lengthen forward. Exhale, bow. Hands by the side of your heels. Right foot back, high leg lunge or lower leg lunge. We go into the twist. Easier option for the twist, bringing your back knee down. Squeeze the legs, lengthen the tailbone, and we lift the left arm up. Follow your left thumb. Can you look at your left thumb or just look to the sides? Or maybe you can straighten your back leg. And for stability of the lower back, I want you to squeeze the hips. Squeeze, 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 tummy muscles engaged and open. Lift your chin, take back of the head to the heel behind you. Back leg is super strong. Deep breath in. Exhale, look down, touch the floor. We're going to change legs. If you pull up energy and that's okay for you, maybe jump switch. Right foot forwards now, or just step back, step in. Right knee above your right ankle, squeeze the legs. Lengthen the tailbone, inhale, right arm, look up or just look to the side. It's okay to have your back knee down if you need to take it easy. Deep breath, squeeze your hips, engage your tummy muscles, inhale. And as you exhale, look down, touch the floor, step back into the plank or half plank, squeeze your arms, squeeze your shoulders. Tailbone moving to your heels. And again, let's do this movement. Let go of the floor with one hand, then with another hand. You can have your knees down, that's fine. One hand, another hand, see if that's suitable for you. Don't worry, don't have to do everything. Strong core muscles, going down knees, elbows, or just your elbows. Point your toes back, slow, come up. Lengthen the tailbone, come up to raise cobra. Shoulders down, with a double chin, lift your chin, inhale. And as you exhale, drop your hands back and stretch and lengthen forward. Toes under, down facing dog. Take a deep breath. And I want you to check your hands. Press all finger pads into the floor, four corners of the hands. Extend your inner thighs back, heels down. On your next inhale, on your tiptoes, look between your hands, right leg up, step forward, or knees down, then right foot forward. And then bring your back knee your left knee on the floor, padding for your left knee. If you need sensitive, definitely grab the blanket and place under your knee. Make sure that you're happy there. Your front knee, back your front ankle. Squeeze the legs, hands on your front knee. We're going to crescent moon pose. Lengthen the tailbone, dummy muscles engaged, and then stretch your arms upwards. Lengthen up from the hips to your armpits, keep that length. 
and then open your shoulders, stretch your arms, thumbs moving to the wall behind you. Front hip moving forward. If you can, sit just a little lower, but checking with your lower back, tummy in, deep breathing. Back leg is super strong, press your toes into the floor, a little stronger, press, press, press. Inhale, and as you exhale, touch the floor. Step back to down facing dog, and then we change sides. Down facing dog, take a deep breath. If you want to sport walk, feel free. It's quite nice to stretch here and loosen up the lower back, back of the pelvis. And then we change sides. Inhale, on your tiptoes, look between your hands. Left leg up, step forward, or knees down, and then step forward. Right knee now on the floor, padding for your right knee if you need. Make sure that you're comfortable. Squeeze the legs, come up with your hands on your front knee. Lengthen the tailbone like let you do the cut stretch. Tummy in and stretch up. Lengthen first from the hips and then maybe sit lower. How's your back doing? Do you need to engage your tummy muscles a little more? Squeeze in, lift your chest and curl back. Open your shoulders. Thumbs moving to the wall behind you. Lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Press your back foot into the floor again. Toes just a little stronger into the floor. Inhale. And as you exhale, steady legs, touch the floor. Step back to down facing dog. Let's sport walk again. And maybe move the hips from side to side. That was a great stretch for the hips. Now we just want to loosen up and check in how we feel. We create more energy, more space. So this is what we want. We want more space for the muscles, for the joints. And then plank or half plank, choose your option. Squeeze your arms. And again, we do this little movement, letting go of one hand, another hand. Knees can be on the floor, don't worry. Okay, we're just checking how you feel here with the strong core muscles. Lovely. And then going down, knees, elbows, or just bend your elbows, point your toes back, slide your hands forward for the sphinx pose. Elbows beneath your shoulders. Just taking elbows beneath your shoulders. Lengthen the tailbone. And let's lengthen a little bit more forward. So with the shoulder blades, reach your heart forward. And then soften, melt between the shoulder blades. Bring your tummy now down towards the floor. Squeeze your shoulder blades at the back. And just take a moment. How's your legs doing? Can you press your knees into the floor stronger? Press, press, press. And then take one arm back. And perhaps another arm back. Interlace your fingers if you can. Squeeze your shoulder blades and lift your arms. Knees into the floor a little stronger. Press, press, press. And relax your neck. Breathe. This is quite strong posture for the back. Listen to your back, please. Listen to your shoulders. You can just keep your arms by the side of your body. You don't have to interlace your fingers. Neck is soft. Deep breath in. And then exhale and release. Let's bring hands beneath your forehead. This is your crocodile pose. Relax. So when your buttocks wobble, wobble, wobble from side to side. Relax, relax, relax. On your next inhale, lift your head, bring your hands by the side of your chest and come on your all fours. Toes under, come on your all fours. You do cut and a cow stretch. Inhale, look up. And as you exhale, tailbone between the sitting bones, round. And again, inhale, look up. Exhale, and round. Inhale, look up. And as you exhale, Come up to down facing dog. Exhale, come in, lifting your hips. Stretch, stretch, stretch through the spine, through the back of the legs. Push your heels back and down. Deep breath. On your next inhale, on your tiptoes, look between your hands, bend your knees and walk in. Walk towards your feet, into your forward bend. Make space between your feet, hips width apart or wider. Squeeze the legs. Press down with your feet, come up and stretch. Inhale, side into the sun. Exhale, your hands to your heart. Inhale. Exhale, relax your arms. Inhale, gentle back bend. And as you exhale, forward bend, strong legs. Squeeze, 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 touch the floor. 
Inhale, stretch forward. Exhale and bow, hands by the side of your heels. Left foot back, high leg lunge, take a deep breath. We come up to warrior one pose. Look at your left foot, hop to the left edge of your mat. Place your foot flat on the floor. Come up with your hands on your front knee. Leg in the cut stretch, lengthening the tailbone, lifting your tummy muscles and come up, warrior one pose. This is one option. You can stay here. This is a great variation. Or maybe you can go for high leg lunge, lifting your back heel off the floor. Bring your hands at the back of your head. And let's just lean back to your hands, lift your chin. It has your core muscles engaged, just a little stronger. Squeeze in, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Take your shoulders back and open, breathe. Strong legs, draw the legs towards the midline. Strong tummy muscles. On your next inhale, straight up, straight your arms up and lengthen forward. Lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Touch the floor, step back, down facing dog, and then we change side. Maybe you ready? On your tiptoes, left leg up, and step forward, big step forward. Right foot to the right. Place your foot flat, come up with your hands on your front knee. Lengthen the tailbone, engage your tummy muscles, and come up, inhale, stretch. This is one option. You can stop here, or lift your back heel off the floor. Go a little lower if you can, tailbone, tummy muscles engaged, stretch away from the hips, you can stop here. Or maybe taking your hands at the back of your head, lift your chin and lean back. This is quite strong shoulder stretch. And again, you can control the intensity by yourself. You don't have to go far to have a good stretch because your tummy muscles can squeeze in a little bit more and stretch back. Super strong legs. On your next inhale, stretch your arms. Exhale, lengthen, lengthen, lengthen forward. Touch the floor, step back, down facing dog, deep breath. Breathing deeply, we need lots of oxygen to all, all cells of the body, the whole body. And then plank or half plank, choose your option. Okay, now we're going to try again to let go of the floor. And this time, we're going to try to twist the heels as well, one side, like that, if you're not sure, just if you look at my feet. And then to the other side, moving your heels, twisting your heels and toes active, and again. But don't worry, if this is not for you, you can stay in a plank or half plank, that's okay. If you can, we go to the side plank, okay. And maybe even lifting the arm upwards, one arm, and then another arm. Okay, but listen to your body. I know it's quite strong posture sometimes on the shoulders, sometimes on the hips, listening to your body. You know, just challenging here. The core muscles, how's your core muscles? Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Opening, side plank. One side, another side. Okay, and when you finish, finish your last round. We're going down, knees and elbows. Oh, just bend your elbows, like down. And slide your hands forward again. Sphinx pose, the beginning of the back bend. And you can stop here if you feel okay, this is just enough. I want to keep lengthening forward. Soften between your shoulder blades. Squeeze your shoulder blades at the back, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And when we do locust pose, we're going to take the arms back again. This time, maybe you can lift your legs as well. So let's try arms first. One arm, another arm, squeeze your shoulder blades, interlace your fingers if you can, lift your arms a little higher, relax your neck, and maybe even lift your legs up. But don't worry, legs optional. Choose your option, breathe, keep relaxing your neck, Maybe just look down at the floor, breathe deeply. Super straight and it's quite strong posture to strengthen the back muscles, shoulders, hips. Turning the legs, turning actually the whole muscles, all muscles in your body working. Deep breath in. And then exhale release. Hands beneath your forehead, relax. Relax your buttocks. 
wobble, wobble, wobble. You can hear my cuckoo clock. On your legs, inhale. Lift your head, hands by the side of your chest. Come on your old horse. Toes under, cut in the cow stretch. Inhale, look up. Exhale, come in and round. And we do another two rounds like so. Inhale, look up. Exhale and round. Once more, inhale, look up. Exhale and round. And come up to down facing dog. Lift your hips up. Push the thigh bones back. Have a good stretch. On your next inhale, come up high on your tiptoes. Look between your hands, bend your knees and walk in. Walk into your forward bend. Space between your feet, hips width apart. Engage your legs, super strong legs. Press down with your feet and come up. Knees bent, okay, if you need it. Stretch, exhale, hands to your heart. Take a deep breath and relax your arms. Okay, let's do the balance. Okay, maybe have a drink before we move to, into the balances. Okay, have a drink. You worked very hard. Strong postures. So we always do this in the yoga class, in, or actually in my yoga class. We work strong in the first part of the class, and then we do more balances and stretches. Work on more on flexibility. Okay, so balances. Let's do the tree poise. So the tree poise is this is your easy option. Just choose your option. Just your heel on inner leg, or foot beneath your knee, or foot above your knee, and then you're going to stretch your arms upwards. So if you need the wall, come to the wall. Maybe just one finger. Sometimes one finger is enough to hold the wall inside. So come closer to the wall if you need it. Let's do right foot. Heel on inner leg, or foot beneath your knee, or above your knee. Just make sure that you're not placing your foot against the knee joint. Okay, great. So now, press your foot into your leg, leg into the foot. So this is your engagement towards the knee line. Tummy muscles strong, take your hands to your heart, and then inhale, and lengthen, stretch upwards. Stretch your fingers like a branches on the tree top. Keep lengthening, lengthening, lengthening upwards. Look straight ahead. You might look through the window and you find a tree uh, like I do. I have my garden in front of me. I look into my garden. I look into my tree. And think about the quality of the tree. Staying steady, strong, grounded in any life situation. Lengthen upwards, lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Up towards the light. And then bring your hands together. Draw your hands to your heart and then relax. Relax your legs, give them a little shake. Change inside. Let's do another side. Left foot somewhere where you feel this is just comfortable for me. Beneath the knee, above the knee. Okay, hold the ball if you need or some support if you're near the chair or you're near the table and you need to hold it. Hands to your heart, get steady. The strong core muscles, calm breath, straight up. Open your shoulders, stretch your fingers like the branches on the tree top and breathe. Strong core muscles, steady breath. Staying strong and steady in any life situation. Another deep breath. And then bring your hands together. Draw your hands to your heart and then relax. Shake your legs. Shake, shake, shake. So let's do another posture. Today we're practicing the dancer pose. Options again, if you need a wall, now you're going to face the wall. So you're going to hold the wall with one finger or with all fingers, that's okay. And we're going to do this. You're going to hold one foot. If you don't hold the wall, you just stretch your arms upwards and then you're going to peel it forward. Okay, find your balance. Okay, I need to focus on one point and find that balance. Okay, and then 
you stretch that back leg a little higher if you can. So let's try that. If you need the wall, come to the wall and hold the wall. Okay, so we're going to hold that right foot facing this direction for you, holding your right foot, left arm up, look straight ahead, find that point, and then peel it forward with, again, with a strong core muscles, squeeze the hips, engage your core, and hold, peel it forward, press your back foot, your right foot into your hand a little stronger, and lift, lift, lift. Okay. It's okay to be playful. It's okay to start again. Don't worry. If you're losing your balance, come out and then do it again. Don't worry. You can do it as many times as you need. Sometimes balance is tricky. You need really to focus on the strong core muscles, on the easy, calm breath. And when you do this, the balance becomes a little easier. And then come out. Let's change the side. Shake your legs. Shake, shake, shake. Change your side. Right arm. Holding the wall or stretching upwards. Left foot. Hold your left foot. Extend. How's your core muscles? Squeeze in. Tummy muscles engaged. Steady breath. Press your foot into your hand. Pivot it forward. It doesn't matter how far you go. If you need to stop any time, please do. Open your shoulders, squeeze the hips, have the core muscles again engaged, lift your tummy muscles up, breathe. Steady breathing. Strong core muscles. Easy balance. And relax anytime and then shake your legs. Shake, shake, shake. Okay, well done. Let's do another posture for the legs. And this is your chair pose. Chair pose, let's take feet parallel, hips width apart. Take your hands to the hips, inhale and lengthen. And as you exhale, push the hips back like you're just about to sit on the high chair behind you. And I want you to move your knees back. If you look down, you definitely can see your feet in front of your knees. Okay. Squeeze the legs. You don't have to go very low. Lengthen the tailbone, tummy in, and stretch your arms forward. Breathe. Push the hips back and back. I often do this as my toes. I often lift my toes upwards. That gives me more stability on the legs, more stability on my knees. So push the hips back and back and back. Strong core muscles. If it's okay with your shoulders, let's lift the arms upwards. Draw your arms into your shoulder joints and then stretch, stretch, stretch. Breathe. Hips moving, moving back still. Okay, knees back. You definitely can see your feet in front of your knees. Strong legs. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Deep breathing. Anytime you need to come out, don't wait for me. Come out anytime. Now come up. Inhale. Exhale, relax, shake your legs. They work very hard. Okay. We don't walk enough, I think, in this time now. We don't do much exercises. In our house, it's all about studying, studying, studying. So we need to exercise the legs, definitely. Okay, so let's do that again. Squeeze the legs. Move the hips back and back and back. Okay, lift your toes upwards. Very strong legs. Squeeze the legs towards the midline. Stretch your arms and you can stop here. You don't have to go very low because your tummy muscles engage. Lift up. Breathe. Maybe stretch your arms over the head. If that's okay with your shoulders, breathe deeply. Squeeze the legs, push the hips back. You don't have to go very low. Listen to all the joints. Another deep breath. And then sit just a tiny bit lower. Come up all the way up and go into your forward bend. Bend your knees if you need and fold above your legs. Relax your neck. Just nod your head. Soften, soften. Another deep breath before we sit. And if it's okay with you, can you bend your knees and then sit on the floor from the forward bend? Maybe do that. Bend your knees and sit on the floor or sit in your fashion way. Then stretch your legs in front 
and it gives your legs a little shake. Just shake, shake, shake. Relax, relax, relax. Okay, well done. Now sit on the floor or maybe on the block or folded blanket. I'm going to sit on the block and we do hip stretch called Padakanasana or cobra stretch. Feet together. And if you look at your feet, your feet pressing against each other and your toes active, just check. You can stretch your toes, active toes, active feet. Inhale, lengthen. And as you exhale, engage your core muscles and just fold forward. If you have that space, don't worry. If you don't have that space to fold forward, just stay there. Maybe even holding the floor and, and just keeping here and breathing. That's also fine. Okay. If you can fold forward, fold forward and then move your elbows wider to your knees. Press your legs into your arms, arms into your legs, create good resistance. And we're thinking about the inner thighs or the thigh bones still moving back and wider apart. We want this lovely stretch at the back of the pelvis. Okay, squeeze your feet. All the energy starts from your big toes. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Inner thighs moving back and you fold forward as far as you can. Squeeze your feet, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And stretch and lengthen forward. If you can reach the floor, hold the floor with your fingers. If you can, but don't worry, you can stay straight. Okay, fold forward a little bit more, listen to your back. Squeeze your feet, push the thigh bones back, wider apart, relax your neck. And if you can lift your hips off the floor or off the block, go for it. Your feet working very strong. Squeeze your feet, squeeze your feet. That's it. You don't have to do everything, remember that. Maybe hips can lift up, maybe not. And then go back again. Go back, sit on the block and stretch your legs in front. Give them a little shake. Relax, relax, relax. Okay, let's do forward bend. Okay. Moving that block to the side. So up to this hip stretch, forward bend should be a little bit easier. So let's bend your right leg. Point your toes and take your heel into the groin and then make adjustments. Take flesh of the buttocks wider to the sides. If you sit on the floor, so make your hamstrings a little wider. So take that flesh of the thigh into your hands, rotate flesh in and widen your hamstrings. Press your legs down, take your hands behind, inhale, stretch. Exhale, reach forward with your chest. And again, inhale, lengthen from the hips to your armpits. Exhale, reach forward with your chest. The heart leading forward, not your chin. And again, inhale, lengthening. Exhale, reach forward. How's your neck? Soften. Can you reach to your foot? Don't worry, you don't have to. You can do perhaps one hand hold or two hands hold. And again, lengthening on the inhale from the hips to your armpits. Softening between the shoulder blades, relaxing the neck. Neck is soft. Has that front leg working hard? Press your heel into the floor stronger. Keep your toes active. That front leg is very active. Okay, and listen to your back, please. And listen to, your, to all the physical sensations, especially the back of the knee, your sitting one. If you feel pain there, back off. You don't have to do everything. Maybe just holding the floor behind is enough. It's already strange going on. Deep breath. On your next inhale, come back. Inhale, come back. Stretch your both legs. Give them a little shake. Relax, relax, relax. Yeah, and change inside. So I'm turning to you this side. Left leg. Point your toes. Take your heel into the groin. And again, make space. Move the flesh of your buttocks wider. Feel the space between your sitting bones. If you sit on the floor, you can make your hamstrings again wide. Press your leg down, press that heel into the floor, front heel, deep breath in. Exhale, begin to fold. And again, inhale, lengthen from the hips to your armpits. Exhale, reach forward. Take another deep breath before holding your foot. And if you have it to hold your foot, one hand, another hand on the floor, Spider-Man hand. Lengthening on inhale. Softening between your shoulder blades. 
maybe holding with two hands. Don't worry, you don't have to do everything. Listen to your back, listen to your hamstrings. Maybe engage that front leg a little stronger. Press your heel down, press, press, press. Extend and lengthen. And just holding the floor behind, it's also good. You already have a good stretch, lengthen. Folding from the hips. This is where the forward bend comes from. From folding from the hips, not rounding the back. We try to keep the back straight or as straight as we can. On your next inhale, come up. Inhale, come up. Stretch your legs. Give your legs a little shake. Relax, relax, relax. Okay. Shoulder stand or half shoulder stand or down facing dog. With one leg up would be the next choice. Quickly show you options. So easier option, down facing dog, down facing dog. And maybe you can do three leg dog, one leg up, 20, 30 seconds on one side, do another leg, 20, 30 seconds on the other side, and then release. Shoulder stand, if you're very happy and you know your shoulder stand, options here, I'll show you on this brick, so option one, just bringing that brick or the block or the folded blanket under the hips. I like using this brick because it gives me more, gives me more height. And then you just stretch your legs upwards, relax here, two minutes. Or if you're happy to go to shoulder stand or half shoulder stand, lifting the chin, checking space between the base of the neck and the floor, definitely have that space. And then come up, roll up. Hips, holding hips, half shoulder stand. Check your neck, chin still lifted. Or the full shoulder stand. So bring your elbows a little closer to each other. Chin still lifted. I don't feel my neck on the floor. And then take your feet away from the face. Stretch up. Maybe the plow pose looks like that. If you can reach the floor, then hold the floor with your hands. Maybe interlace your fingers, press your arms down. When you finish, come out. This way, bend your knees first, hold the floor, use your strong core muscles and roll gently, vertebra by vertebra, feet on the floor. So let's do two minutes. In your choice, you have down facing dog with one leg up, three leg dog, or you have shoulder stand, half shoulder stand, or the block under the hips. If you're watching me, I'm going to show you again, brick block under the hips, and then stretch your legs upwards. So maybe this is just enough, nice and easy. Lovely for the legs. All the blood now rushing into, into the brain, oxygenating, rejuvenating. It's lovely, relaxing posture. Or you're going to half shoulder stand or full shoulder stand. To make sure that your chin lifted, shoulder blades flat, Come up and check in with your neck. Always check with your neck. There is a space between the base of the neck and your yoga mat. You don't want to stand on your neck. Half shoulder stand, the full shoulder stand. So whatever is suitable for you. Take a couple of minutes to have all the great benefits of inversions. Working against the gravity, bringing internal organs in its original position, massaging the heart, massaging the lungs, the thyroid gland, improving the lymphatic flow, which helps us to improve the immune system. Great posture to calm the mind. All the blood rushing into the brain, oxygenating, rejuvenating. The plow pose, if you practice in the plow pose, 30 seconds would be enough in the plow pose. Either you interlace your fingers, press your arms down, or you're holding the floor with your hands. How's the neck gain? Check your neck. Chin lifted. Base of the neck is not on the floor. Breathing deeply with ease. Nothing to do, just be. Just take your time. Enjoy the benefits.
And let's release now slower. Yeah, if you want to shoulder stand, bend your knees, hold the floor and slowly unroll, vertebra by vertebra, slowly unrolling. Yeah, and then bring your feet on the floor and wherever you are, just lie down on the floor and move your head from side to side. Let's just relax the neck, relaxing the neck muscles, yeah, moving your head from side to side. Easy breathing. And then roll over to your right hand side. Come up to the sitting. And please be seated comfortably. So we're going to sit on the block. Sitting on the block or folded blanket, whatever you have at home. Okay. And we do breathing exercise. So today we're going to practice alternative nostril breathing technique. Uh, and I quickly remind you or show you that the thumb, right thumb on your right nostril and the ring finger on your left nostril and then two fingers, index and your middle fingers, resting on your forehead or maybe you prefer to fold it in. So it looks like that. Thumb on your right nostril, ring finger on your left nostril and these two fingers either fold it in or rest it on your forehead, or we say on the third eye center. So, and what we're going to do, we're going to inhale through the right nostril, exhale through the left, inhale through the left, and then exhale through the right nostril. That's one round. And let's do six rounds. Okay, let's do that. Right thumb on your right nostril, ring finger on your left nostril, and then choose what you're going to do with your index and your middle finger. And we just rest it there on your forehead. Inhale through the right, exhale through the left, inhale through the left nostril, exhale through the right nostril, and continue. Inhale through one nostril, exhale through the other, inhale. Exhale through the other nostril. And so on. Just continue. <clears throat> Either you're using this gesture when your finger is thumb on your right nostril, ring finger, and your index finger is on your forehead, or fold it inwards. Using one nostril at a time. Continue. And you probably noticed by now that the breath becoming slower. Slow down. Slow down your breath. And this easy breathing technique helps us to calm the mind, to calm the emotions. And this is the very easy and quick stress buster. With your eyes closed, Focusing on the floor of the air through the nostrils. Slow down your breath. Slow down your emotions and feelings. Just becoming a little bit more sensitive to how we feel and think. Slow down. Make your last two rounds. And when you finish all your repetitions, just place your hands on your thighs, close your eyes, and just notice the difference. Just notice the energy flow, how you feel, just checking in.
and then open your eyes and lie down and relax. Lie down in Shavasana. And if you're not sure Shavasana looks like that, okay. quickly show you how it looks. Feet wider than the hips. And when you lie down on your back, you're going to check pressing the hips into the floor, checking there is a space between the lower back and your yoga mat. And then take your arms to the sides. Close your eyes and relax. So please lie down and relax. Okay, five minutes to relax. And I'm going to sit and guide you. You're lying on the floor in Shavasana. Make sure that you're warm and comfortable. Maybe cover yourself with a blanket if you need. Check in your whole body from the crown of the head to the tips of your toes. Feet wider than the hips. Press your hips into the floor. Restore the lumbar space. Your arms away from your body. Palms facing upwards. Back of the head, nicely balanced on the floor. You can roll your head from side to side if you're not sure. And again, connect to your breath. Slow down. We just take in this time to relax and recreate the connection between the mind, body, and breath. Just check that connection. And this is a great posture to remind yourself about this connection again. Steady breathing, calm and alert mind, relaxed body. With each breath becoming softer and more relaxed. Just let's notice the weight of the body on the floor. The grounding points where your body touching the floor Come back to your breath, slow down. What it's like to be you in this present moment. Check in with your emotions and feelings. And accepting, accepting experience right now, right here. And we're not trying to alter experience. Just acknowledging everything right now. The body, all the physical sensations in your body. The flow of the breath. Your emotions and thoughts right now, right here. And if you find yourself that your mind is very busy and wandering and trying to get away from this now experience, just bring your mind gently back, back to your breath, back into your body, right here, right now. And rest, rest in this moment, in your own experience. Now, as your relaxation and meditation comes to the end, bring your awareness back to your surroundings, back to your whole body, deepen your breath, extend your inhalations, exhalations, 
Then wiggle your toes, your fingers. Slide your legs together. Arms by the side of your body. Inhale and stretch. Take your arms over your head. Stretch the stretch away from the waistline. And then bend your knees. Hug your knees with your hands. And gently rock from side to side. Just to awaken in the lower back. And then roll over to your right hand side. And come up to the sitting. Okay, and just sit comfortably. Take your hands to your heart in Ajayi Mudra. Okay, and close your eyes. Inhale, lengthen. And as you exhale, just lean back just a little to feel that strong support of your back muscles. Support steadiness of the universe. Reflect your practice. Reflect your intention of the practice. Notice how you feel. Enjoy extra strength, flexibility, and clarity of mind. And traditionally, we finish class with one gentle OM. Exhale first. Inhale. Oh. By your head to your heart, to the light within you, and open your eyes. Well done, everyone. Thank you very much. Namaste. Have a lovely day, everyone.